Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a cash stuffing today for you guys and it is going to be a very little one. <laughs> so the total amount that we are cash stuffing is $250 and this is actually money that I pulled out from, I don't know if you saw my previous video where I explain um, what's going on and my husband quit his job and how all my finances are changing. Um, so basically I pulled out a lot of money from envelopes that I'm no longer going to stuff anymore and I am going to use that money to pay some bills and a couple weeks worth of like sinking funds and some of my cash envelopes for my wallet specifically. I'm happy with how I'm cash stuffing this week so let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty so here goes my money. Let's go ahead and prep my little cash tray. I'm actually so excited no matter what. I'm always happy to cash stuff any envelopes that I have. So we're actually going to start off with my cash wallet right here. Um, I told you all before, I literally emptied this whole entire thing out. I have no more money. Like, oh, all I have is giving because um, I still like to, I'm actually not putting any money in here for a long time. So there goes that. And this one back here that's empty. I actually used to use this one for when I would buy groceries or like buy food out, like eat out with my food money because my food envelope uses groceries and eating out money. And I would always take out a dollar, but I took out all my dollars and I think it was like $20. So no more of that. Hopefully I can stay within budget, but that's just how it's going to go. And I do want to say, I don't think I ever told you guys, but these envelopes for these ca this cash wallet that I did get from Baddies and Budgets, um... I actually sell these envelopes in my Etsy shop, so if you like them, um, they're like see-through and they have this cute little pattern right here, and I have all of these different like designs or whatever, and there's like many choices there, but if you like them, my Etsy shop is in my bio. Sorry, shameless plug, but guys, I gotta make some sad shmeni, you know? Alrighty, enough of that. Alrighty, so the total we are going to put into food is $130. So 130. So I'm aiming for 100 of that being for groceries and 30 of that being just eating out. But hopefully I don't go over that. Then shopping, no money for shopping. Gas is going to get $50 because I have spent all my money. And oh, let me flip it the other way. And I'm hoping that this $50 will actually, I won't have to use it anymore, like all of it. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to roll over to the next week. And then that is actually it for all of my cash envelopes. Alrighty, now for my high priority sinking fund binder, we are actually only gonna put some into one of this one. And that is for car maintenance, which is only going to get $10. There we go. And I will count this one since we're not doing many. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460 in car maintenance. Alrighty, that's it for my high priority sinking fund binder. I'm telling you guys, the budget is tight, but we're going to make it work. Now for my low priority sinking fund binder. Once again, not many are going to get anything. So for home, I'm going to add $5. There we go. And now I have 50, 70, 90, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120, 121 in home. Then the next one, we're just going to keep it going, is my dog's medical envelope, which is also going to get $5. So they now have 100, 150, 170, 190, 200, 205, 210, 215. And then the next one that's going to get something, clothes isn't get anything, medical is going to get something. Medical is going to get $10. And that is it for medical. So now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 525, 40, 550. 555, 56, 57, 58. So $558 in medical. And that is actually it for my low priority sinking fund binder. <laughs> it's going very quickly, this video. Alrighty, the next one that's actually going to get something, I'm not going to put anything 
which you all know is my future savings and debt binder. Nothing is going to go in this one this week. So I'm actually going to cash off a couple of savings challenges. If you saw my previous video, I literally took out like five savings challenges out of here. And the main ones I kept were my emergency fund challenge as well as my Christmas challenge. So I'm actually going to do my emergency fund challenge of $10.00. So let's go ahead and color this one in. There we go. And let's put our $10 in there. Alrighty. So we have 500 in the bank. 1, 2, 3, 320, 340, 360, 370, 380, 381. So we have a total of 881. Is that right? Did I count this correctly? <laughs> yes, that's right. 881 in our emergency fund. I really wish I had my six months worth of emergency fund, but it'll be okay. Alrighty, now for my Christmas challenge, I am going to do one. Um, I am going to do $30. I'm going to try my best to keep this one going. Um, I don't know how far I'll be able to get, but let's see what we can do here. So I'm going to add... $30 here. So 20 and 30. So I have 1000 in the bank and then 100, 120, 140, 160, 170, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1,174 dollars in our Christmas fund. And our goal is $2,000, but like I said, I don't know if I'm going to make it that far. We will see what happens, guys. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And that is it for our cash stuffing. That was very fast. Um, I'm sorry that it wasn't as extravagant as before. I hope you guys still love it. But, you know, this is how it's going to be probably for a while. Um, there are just certain ones that I just am going to prioritize more. Um, I hope you all are patient with me while I figure out what's going to be our next move and how it's going. Um, so, but thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not already to see how an actual real life budget goes where you started off with a normal job, no longer <laughs> a regular income and you're trying to figure it out from there because this is real life stuff. And honestly, maybe you actually didn't even make how much I used to make before, but you still watch for fun. And now I'm probably cashed up in how much you usually do. But, um, yeah, this is just a positive community and i just want to share as much as i can with you to show what i'm prioritizing how i'm handling it even if it's not the greatest but we're gonna keep it going so anyways thanks so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video